The Indian Army has trained Black Eagles and Falcons, that have been trained to take down enemy quadcopters. The Eagles have taken down several hundred quadcopters in training, and they will be operationally deployed once the Army is completely satisfied with their performance. The Eagles are fitted with cameras, and they are also trained to carry out surveillance of a large area. The Indian Navy and Warship Design Bureau have started testing small-scale models of the pump jet propulsion technology for research and development purposes that might eventually lead to manufacturing of the full-scale pump jet propulsion for the submarines, but it will require much more investment to develop the system locally in India. During a recent meeting, France has offered its pump jet propulsion with transfer of technology, if India procures the French shotfin Barracuda submarines on the Project 75i. The Indian Navy is also interested on having pump jet propulsion for its SSN program, as it features better maneuverability, and higher speed before the onset of cavitation and lower acoustic signature. The Indian Army has test-fired a BrahMos extended-range missile from the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and the 450 km range missile hit its intended target with pinpoint accuracy after traversing an extended-range trajectory and performing complex maneuvers. The BrahMos missile has been test-fired numerous times from Andaman and Nicobar this year, and it plays a significant role in safeguarding the strategic islands. Dr. Satish Reddy, the scientific advisor to the defense minister, recently visited the facility of Astra Defense, where he was briefed on the Bharat 56, which is India's first private sector designed and manufactured 5.56 by 45 mm carbine. It weighs 3 kg with empty magazine, and 100% of the components used in the carbine has been sourced from India, and it will be offered to Indian Army for trials. Astra Defense is also developing a 9 by 19 mm PDW, which is different from SMGs, as it will use rifle-like cartridges that will give better ballistic performance. The company is also working on composite case ammunition, that will replace the conventional brass ammunition which is heavier and costlier. The Armenian Army has started receiving the Konkozem anti-tank guided missiles manufactured by India's Bharat Dynamics Limited, and the Armenian Army is stocking up on the Indian manufactured ATGM, as part of its replenishment drive to rebuild its inventory. Bharat Dynamics Limited manufactures the Konkozem under license from Russia, that can destroy tanks from 4 km range. Indian Navy's INS Vikrant aircraft carrier has departed from Kochi, for latest phase of sea trials, under which elite fighter pilots of the Indian Navy will start aviation flight trials on board the newly commissioned carrier. The aviation trials will include touch-and-go landing and take-off by deck-based fighter jets like MiG-29K and the Naval Tejas Mark I, and officials have said that the carrier will become fully operational by end of 2023. India, France and Germany have started talks to conduct a massive trilateral military exercise from 2024 onwards. While France is a strategic partner of India, Germany has also begun working to reduce its reliance on China, and is seeing India as a counterweight to China. The German ambassador has said, that the German leadership is keen on expanding its military and defence cooperation with India.